In this video, we are going to review Maxil Render Integration in Substance Painter. This time, let's bring our model and initialize the settings. From the File menu, click New. First of all, select your template at the top. Then click Select button to bring your model. Ok, we can start. I've previously painted this material, so I won't waste your time with it. Here, you can see the material layers. What I'm going to do is activating them one by one, and then exporting each state as a set of textures to check how it works in my scene. Here we have the first layer titled Steel Painted Rough Damaged. I'm turning it on. As you see, it's quickly appearing on the left side. My material is not finished, but for some reason I want to check it in my scene. Here is the test scene I'm going to try it with. Ok, going back to Substance Painter as I need to export my textures first. And now back to Maxwell Studio again. So I quickly create a substance material and point to one of my textures. All the corresponding files are found and set. The material is ready. As you can see in the Maxwell preview window, it renders just as expected. Back to Substance, I keep adding more layers and so effects. So far so good. Now I can re-export the textures and see the changes are updated on the Maxwell site immediately. This way you can make quick revisions of your materials create versions of them, or simply add production speed to your workflow. Thanks to the Substance Universe integration in Maxil Random.